Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today we're going to play Flatline for the third time. Only this time it's the terrorist run where we run through and master everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's Easy. skip these cutscenes and get right to the killing. It's good to have you back. Actually, hold on a second. I'm let's glad to hear you're fully recovered. Get some things, get your our toys together. Let's upgrade a little bit. First of all, I'm not going to upgrade my weapons. I'm going to get some doodads, some painkillers, which is basically a uh, healing item, lockpick, and a flak jacket. Flak jacket is very important to this run because we don't want to, uh, you know, take too much damage. And for our gun, we're getting extra ammo and a laser sight. And the, the same thing for the shotgun. Uh, I don't think I've shown that off yet. To get him out, yeah. but we need We're him also alive. getting the most powerful ammunition for both the guns, so we should be taking down people much easier. Let's start out by running up this hill here. I know it's the terrorist run, but I'm not going to start things out shooting just yet. I want to sneak in and see Agent Smith first, so... We're going to keep this quiet and try not to uh, alert anyone. I'm going to wait for this guy to walk by. And let's pick up our shotgun, our new toy. Nice. All upgraded and whatnot. I'm going to pick these locks. One-handed. Pretty good, I must say. And uh, I'm going to head on up here. And let's take out our silver baller. I think the silver baller is actually supposed to be a hard baller, but I'm not really a big guns fan outside of video games, so I can't really say for sure. There we go. We're going to head on through here. And I promise you the shooting and the mayhem will start very shortly. We just have to, uh... Okay. Nice. Nice. That looked really cool, <laughs> uh, with the game fucking up like that, going in slow motion. Now, I'm just gonna wait for this guy to come out. Nah, let's just go and talk to Agent Smith. I'm sure he's outside having a smoke or drinking coffee or whatever. That's a good thing that guy saw us because. Uh, what are you? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna use that stun gun on me? You gonna use that toy on me? All right, let's get out of here. And talk to Agent Smith. Who doesn't look like he's doing too well. You. And we gotta watch this cutscene for a third time. If I gotta watch it, I'm gonna make you guys watch it too. Or you can just skip it. Um, I guess it's not really that big of a deal, but the truth is, I've seen this cutscene literally at least a hundred times. And I don't mean literally as in the way the kids use it nowadays, where they just mean really, really. I mean literally. As an no, actually, I've seen it at least a hundred times. I know. And, you know what? Before we put him to sleep, we're going to make sure that... Ah, oh, there he is. We don't want that guy to, to find the body and alert anyone. We want it to be a surprise. So let's get back in here and uh, put him to sleep. No, Agent 47. You don't throw your toys on the ground like that. That's not good. Jeez, you know how much money we paid for that thing? Man. All right. Identity obtained. Yeah, Executing yeah. Identity obtained. Assignment. Identity obtained. Whatever. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden oh, shift in the delicate Jesus. power balance These cut of the scenes, New York family. Really annoy me. Two low -level I wonder if Hitman in. Absolution will have unskippable cutscenes in the middle of level two. Because if they the do, that's gonna make doing speed runs and silent assassin runs really tedious. Um, by the way, I'm really understood. excited for that game. I can't wait to get it. Let's pick back up our gun. Hopefully it hasn't been damaged. Jesus, Agent 47. Come on, man. And we're gonna head back up here. And here's where the fun starts. But first, let's, let's get a stun gun. I can't remember if it saves to the next level. Uh, you know, to use it in different stages. But the stun gun's great because it, it's silent, it's fast... It knocks people down in one hit, and it never runs out of ammo. The only downside is that people wake up quickly when you use it, so you're probably not going to be able to do any silent assassin runs with it. I'm afraid. 
Let's check the map. And there seems to be a guard on our right. And that's the only guard behind us. Let's take care of him first. No, please, don't get up. Just stay seated. Shit, run! And fuck you too. And, uh, that's it. Now we're free to kill. We don't have to worry about people sneaking up behind us. And we gotta be careful in this open area because, uh, yeah, you better run, buddy. Because, uh... Alright. Now, you can get multi-kills with these guns, but it's not exactly easy. And even though it's a shotgun, it's still easy to miss. Man, I can't believe that. Let's reload. I really like the reloading sound for the shotgun. And you're done? And, oh, you're done too. You're done? Let's take cover in here. Our, our target's here too, so that's good. And we really are unassailable in this position, aren't we? Who the bell tolls for. Oh, you knew this day was coming sometime, buddy. You knew it was coming. Oh, they really, they don't stand a chance. But still, we gotta be careful. And, uh, my god, I can't believe I missed. Anyway, th this flak jacket's really coming in handy, because, uh, normally I'd be dead by now. And we don't want to kill any of the innocent bystanders, because we want witnesses. We want people to witness, uh, what we've done here today. We want people to tell stories about our carnage. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the wrong way, but it always pays off to check your back first. Let's get in here. And I think our pasta sauce guy is... Oh, there he goes, into the room. Come on, come on, take it like a man. Take it like a man. Yeah, you're done for, buddy. And he died like a bitch. So let's go, uh... Oh god, oh god, uh, uh, look at you, you're pathetic, you're supposed to be a guard. Well, you're not really supposed to be a guard, you're just, you're just that guy who jams the needle in the guy's ass. Hey, don't be a hero, what the fuck are you doing? Put that shit down. That's right. And, I don't know what, <laughs> oh man, you see that, oh Jesus, everyone thinks they're a hero today. Everyone, everyone picking up guns. Do you really think that's a great idea, friend? And we're out of ammo. And, oh, darn it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Um, so our shotgun's out of ammo. That's kind of lame. I really like that thing, but... Well, that's okay. Let's take these painkillers, because it took quite a lot of damage there. Ah. And no one's around to stop us. Hey, friend. How's it going? I know you are just trying to... Get your life on track, but... No, well, it's over now. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about anything ever again. Let's reload, because... Uh, wait a second. What in the... That does not look good. But you seem to be feeling no pain at all. <laughs> Those painkillers really are something. He must be high as a kite right now, because he's got only one eye and probably a bullet in his brain. Huh. Well, uh... Oh, gee. Look at her, just having a smoke break. She doesn't care at all. People are dead, lady. People are dead. You dance. I said dance. Oh. Well, those are magnum bullets. Two shots in the leg will kill a normal P NPC. And he's dead, too. Well, let's try to destroy this camera. I mean, I, I know it's a terrorist run, and we don't really care about notoriety, but I just want to see if I can shoot it. I... And, of course, stuck reloading again. Can't wait for the extended clip for these guns. Oh, darn it. Caught on camera. Well, that's okay. Let's just get out of here. We'll pick this lock. And they have a nice shot of our back. And I'm sure that shot of our back will be in the newspaper, right? Not our faces, our back? Sure. And like I said, we don't want to kill innocent bystanders because we want people to know our name and our face. No, no guards around. That's good. So I'm gonna close the door. And, uh... Wait a second! That guy blinked! 
Agent Smith blinked. He's supposed to be uh, fake dead. I don't... Jeez, these people must be terrible. They can't even notice when a man's blinking. So, we don't want to leave our toy behind get charged for that. Let's bring that along. Oh, God, that looks terrible. Got to get that looked at. And, uh, wow. So, we're caught on camera. 12 headshots, 7 witnesses. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, s what? Uh, hold on a second. 100 notoriety. That's good, but uh, our, our rating... It, it, that, that can't be right. Uh, terrorist. No, it's not terrorist. It's psychopath. What the? Don't these people know anything? Uh, look at the violence rating. The noise. Oh, jeez. I, I, I just don't know, folks. I don't know why. Uh, darn it. Oh, it's kind of depressing, but, you know, I actually did this level a few times, and I couldn't get terrorist rank without just walking around and killing every NPC in the level. And, uh, oh my, they, that's a much better shot than I thought we gave them. Uh, oh, man, they have our face right there. That's not good. Or is it? You know, it depends on how you look at it. No, oh, 27 additional deaths. Oh, 116 shots fired. Experience of limited skill and dangerous enthusiasm. I'm getting really tired of that, uh, that description, but I guess I should just learn to aim better, huh? Well, 12-gauge shotgun, they know us very well. And, oh, they even know our names. Uh, I didn't think normal people even knew about Agent 47. they comparing us to the Loch Ness Monster. That's strange. Hmm. Well, uh, well, that's it then. I, I take one, one last look at this, this picture of us here. Jesus, uh, Agent 47 looks really scary there. I mean, he looks deranged like a psychopath. So, uh, well, hey, that's pretty good. And that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. See you next time.